family group here from Harvey. Thank you guys for coming in. We have Coach Lisa Miller, Noni Baskin, Tyler Petropolis, Sam McMahon, and Danielle Tetra. Coach, if you'll start off with some comments and then we'll go to questions. Um, I, I think it was a tremendously hard fought, great game. I was up and down, you know, one goal game. Been in a lot of those this year, and we seem to like to keep the fans in the stands. But uh, I mean, Harvard and and Dartmouth fought the entire game, and it, I think it was a lot of fun. I mean, I said all year long that this is a group that I really like to work with. They're tough and they're resilient, and they showed that today. And I thought Dartmouth did too. So, I mean, that's exactly what both teams should be doing in the postseason. Questions. Uh, I guess for any, any of the players who's to, who wants to answer, was the biggest difference between. Uh, today's game and last week's game, tactical or emotional? So was there something different that you were doing this week that you didn't do last week up in Hanover? I think this game, we had a lot of time to prepare, and uh, we stuck to the game plan. I mean, Coach asked us to do something, and we did it this game, and that really helps on the defense when we can hold them off and give our goalie a chance to make good saves. Was there anything that you learned about Dartmouth as a team last week that you couldn't have picked up from uh, from studying film. Um, I think just during the season, especially on the playing on the defensive side, um, just how quickly they move the ball. Um, so it's really critical to you know have really good on ball defense, and then you know get in and, and slide at, at the right time to the right spot, and um, so that they can't cap capitalize on those uh, open situations. So uh, we really worked on that this week. Um, so that wasn't the case today. I think we focused on ourselves a little bit more and just made sure that we're playing as a team. Um, a lot of individual work last week, um, which really strayed away from what we've been doing. And, you know, last week was a little bit crazy, just playing for the Ivy League Championship with the crowd that was there. I think we were a lot more disciplined this time around um, and just learned a lot from, from our play last week. Uh, obviously, the focus is uh, this weekend is on the championship on, on, on Sunday. And you've got to be thrilled to have that opportunity. Uh, um, and uh, I, should, I should have looked up when the last time my uh, heart beat Dartmouth what was, but what does this win do in, in that regard? 1994. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so I mean, first time since 1994, what, what, what does it mean to, to you to be a part of the team that, that did that? It's huge. Um, I mean, we just keep growing as a program, and it's so exciting. Last year, this time, we weren't even in the tournament. This year we were, we are, you know, we're going for the championship on Sunday and got a shot at the NCAA's to get into that, so it's exciting. And what was the feeling like uh, after after last week and after that game? Could you uh, did you come away feeling like you could still beat them one week later, or uh, or, or did, it, did it take a day or two to get to the point where you could see yourself beating the team that uh, doubled you up a couple weeks earlier? I mean, I think like Mel said, um, when we watched game film, we realized that we didn't we didn't play as a team. I mean, we, we made a lot of mistakes that Dartmouth capitalized. And so realizing that and going into this week playing hard, I mean, any team can be any other team on any day. So I think that in lacrosse, you really have to keep that in mind. And when you go out in the field, it's the intensity you bring and the preparation we have. I won't ask you if you have a preference for, for who you play, because I know it, it, it's the same answer to any team, any sport, yet you ask that question. But uh, does having gotten this win and, and, and beaten Dartmouth one, you know, one week after the game up in Hanover, uh, does it uh, help you for, for Sunday if you, if you do play Penn, uh, knowing that you can uh, have that kind of a turnaround from, uh, from earlier in, in the regular season to the tournament? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think you just, you know, we're building. Um, obviously had a little bit of a slump last week, but I think we see every game as a stepping stone, whether we're building on confidence and going with momentum or using the opportunity um, coming from a loss to pick up on things that we, you know, need to do better and work on. So I think everything has been going forward all season. Have that loss, we're looking forward to playing again. And I think we're just excited about one more game. You know, we lost today and we're going home. So just really excited about the opportunity to play again. 
And was there anything you uh, learned about the, uh, the Dartmouth goalie from last week that you were able to change up this week where she had one save in the game compared to last week? Yeah, I mean, we've been working on our shot selection all week, um, <laughs> all week, <laughs> every practice. And, you know, it's just, it's just about that focus when you're in there. And I think that this week we really worked on being focused in practice and working to just make sure that we work around her, um, pick on her weak spots. And I think by the stats, we did that today. What did you guys think of the atmosphere? How did it compare to like a regular season game? Any of the players? It was great. I mean, you love seeing the fans up there. Like, you see the Harvard side, the Dartmouth side, like, competing against each other. Like, we're on the field competing against each other. Like, they're cheering for us. Like, pass alums, you know, running up and down the side of the stadium. I mean, it's, it's just great. It makes you, like, just pumps you up and it makes you want to go hard with you. It's, it's great to see a teammate you had last year here watching this year and knowing that she would do anything to be out in the field with you. And if you can get that win and do something for the program. I mean, it means so much to everyone out there. I mean, I think it was a, you know, it's a good atmosphere. It's a tournament atmosphere. And if anything, I mean, I think last week's game against Dartmouth taught us a lot. I mean, that was a, just a, a great home crowd for Dartmouth. So I think they prepared us to go into sort of a tournament setting and deal with some of the changes that you have to deal with. Um, and that was, that was a tournament game for us. So the feel was, was similar, and I, I think that actually helped us a little bit today. Coach, you guys didn't, you had to lead early and then crawl all the way back to get that, that lead at 10-9. Mm -hmm. The way the second half started, how, what does that say about your team to, to come back again after starting to pull away early in the second half and, and you guys had to fight your way back in the game? Right. I think one of, I mean, one of my favorite things about this group is that they will fight. I mean, their instinct is to fight back. Um, generally, we sort of throw all structure out the window and we just fight that way. And today, I thought we stayed in structure and crawled back into it, which is what you have to do come tournament time. You have to stay in your systems and you have to be deliberate. So I, I always trust that, I mean, they're not, it doesn't matter who we're playing or what the score is. The kids are going to go hard and they're going to compete. I mean, it's who they are, and that's that's what they do. So, um, I mean, I never thought the game was too far out of reach. Um, so, I, I never felt on the sidelines that it wasn't something that we weren't going to come back from. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.